Hello again and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Art Pot. Today we've come to Burnley in Lancashire and we've come to have a look at the singing ringing tree. Now this is part of the Panopticon uh, series that East Lancashire have placed here. They're like modern day follies. There's one here in Burnley, there's one in Blackburn, there's one in Rosendale and uh, I believe there's one at Wycollar and Mrs H is just wincing at me there behind the camera. No, seriously. This was put here in 2006 and it's designed by Mike Tomkin and Anna Lou, I believe, or Lee, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Probably not one of those. And the idea is that as the wind blows across, which you can probably just hear on camera, it blows across these pipes and it has the effect of you sort of blowing across the neck of a bottle and making that whistling sound. I mean, there must be some kind of uh, you know, some, some kind of science to where they placed it because if they just stuck it here on potluck you may not find as it works. I mean, I don't know if you can just hear it. I'll just be quiet for a minute. No, it's not playing. You must need a really big blast. Now, when I look at these type of things, which are modern day follies, I'm always sort of torn and thinking, it's blighting the landscape, as uh, Prince Charles would say. But then again, I wonder if in the 17th and 18th centuries, when they uh, started building follies, if uh, the Victorians and all them kind of people didn't think the same way with Darwin Tower and all the others that are around here. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have a little loot round it now, shall we? Well there we go, that was the singing ringing tree in Burnley. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, it's a lovely day today, so uh, we're going to get off now with the girls and uh, have a little walk around further. So, until the next time, bye bye for now. So, final thoughts on the singing ringing tree at Burnley. Well, it was a lovely location to visit, and uh, thankfully it was a lovely day as well, so it was a good visit in all. I know uh, me and Mrs H enjoyed it, and the dogs did too. Lots of open spaces for them to have a run about and a play. So, it was a good day out, really. Now, it was a bit busy, because it was a nice day, you know, it's uh, very close to a car park. People can just pull up and uh, have a short little stroll up to the sculpture, and have a little mooch around it like we did. So I had to sort of get the blurb done in one hit because I could see somebody approaching the sculpture and it was sort of let's get this done as quickly as we can. But we managed it and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I do apologise for having to put a lot of music in the middle of it but as you heard on camera there was quite a bit of wind and uh, there was just nothing I could do about that. They've obviously put the sculpture in a breezy spot but then again it's a sound sculpture so if it... Uh, if it, if it wasn't in that spot, it would be a bit pointless really, wouldn't it? For the first time, I was actually hoping there'd be quite a bit of wind on camera so you could hear it play, but uh, it, was, it wasn't working for us. So anyway, uh, that was the uh, singing ringing tree at Burnley. Hopefully you'll join us again when we're on location 
somewhere else. So until the next time, bye-bye from now.